So today we have some pretty major news about the coronavirus, but before we get into all that, I do want to let you guys know that I'm finally monetized on YouTube, and if you don't know what that means, pretty much whenever you click on one of my videos, there's a chance you're going to get an advertisement before the video now, and basically I'll be able to make money from those ads that play before my videos. So obviously I want to thank you guys for that because, I mean, if I didn't have viewers watching these videos, I would never be able to get monetized. I would never be able to make money from doing something I enjoy if it wasn't for people actually watching these videos. Anyway, now for the main part of the video here, there is some major news that is going down with the coronavirus right now. In the past like two hours, there has been some major news coming out about the virus. So first off, the entire NBA season has been cancelled until further notice. I mean, that is some major news right there. Because of this virus, they have cancelled every game past Wednesday, and pretty much until this coronavirus situation calms down, there will not be another single NBA game for the foreseeable future. Now, unfortunately, it does seem like there is kind of a culprit here that caused this to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and play a clip from an NBA player at a press conference just a couple days ago. Now, the name of this player here is Rudy Gobert, and if you couldn't tell what was going on there, he was kind of trying to be a class clown here and joke about the coronavirus by touching all the equipment and the microphones. Well, this kind of backfired horribly for him because now he is the first confirmed NBA player to have the coronavirus. I mean, that's kind of karma at its finest right there. Now, the downside to this here is because of this single guy, Rudy Gobert, the entire season has now been canceled. This guy is the reason the season got canceled. All because he wanted to be a class clown here and make a joke, he got the entire season cancelled. I mean, a couple days ago here, he thought he had the whole squad laughing, now he has the whole squad coughing. I mean, it really must suck to be this guy right now. Not only did he catch the coronavirus, which on its own is bad enough, but he also got the entire NBA season cancelled, and the entire internet hates him. Anyway, we do have some more unfortunate news about the coronavirus here, which is that Tom Hanks and his wife, Rita Wilson, have both tested positive for the coronavirus. And I mean, that is pretty scary to hear these are the two biggest celebrities so far that have tested positive for the coronavirus and they are both 63 and as we all know this virus is much worse with elderly people so I mean I'm not a doctor here I'm not sure how this virus is gonna go for them or how well they're gonna recover but all we can do is really hope they're gonna be okay now the final news that we have about the coronavirus here today is that Donald Trump has placed a travel ban on Europe but from the looks of it here it looks like you can't fly from Europe to the US under almost any circumstance right now. The European Union failed to take the same precautions and restrict travel from China and other hotspots. As a result, a large number of new clusters in the United States were seeded by travelers from Europe. After consulting with our top government health professionals, I have decided to take several strong but necessary actions to protect the health and well-being of all Americans. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. The new rules will go into effect Friday at midnight. These restrictions will be adjusted subject to conditions on the ground. There will be exemptions for Americans who have undergone appropriate screenings, and these prohibitions will not only apply to the tremendous amount of trade and cargo, but various other things as we get approval. So there you have it. I mean, I'm not too sure what to think about that, but at least they're actually doing something here and taking the virus seriously. Anyway, that's where I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelexOnYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.